हाई गाइज वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून यू ऑलरेडी नो द ट्रेटी ऑफ लाहौर एंड अमृतसर वन इन एटीन फोर्टी सिक्स आफ्टर मैथ ऑफ वॉट फर्स्ट एंग्लो सिख वॉर राइट कॉर इट सो दैर वॉज टू इम्पोर्टेंट बैटल द बैटल ऑफ फिरोजपुर British was losing, but eventually they won. Okay, just like the T Twenty, and another was Battle of Sobran. Okay, after winning the Sobran, what happened? The British captured Lahore. Okay, which was captured by capital in seventeen ninety nine by Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Right. So, what happened? The treaty was signed between whom? Can you guess? Who was the British Governor General at that time? Sir Henry Harding. He was Governor General of India at that time. Okay. And Maharaja Dilip Singh. He was just seven year old. Okay. After math, what happened? Uh, there was river. Okay, Satluj, Bias, and Indus. Few part of Indus was transferred to uh, British. Okay. That was all about the Treaty of Lahore. Got it. Now. महाराजा गुलाब सिंह ऑफ जम्मू ऑफ जम्मू ही हेल्प ब्रिटिश इन फर्स्ट एंग्लो सिख वार ओके सो आफ्टर ट्रेटी ऑफ लाहौर देर आर इंटरनल ट्रेटी बिटवीन ब्रिटिश एंड दिस ऑल Uh, to formalize the whatever the sign uh, in treaty of lahore for formalization treaty of amritsar was signed between maharaja gulab singh and british so the hilly areas and these all a uh, little bit plain was given to jammu right and jammu become jammu and kashmir princely state of jammu kashmir right After this treaty, that is a very important thing. You are going to write any of the uh, historical thing. Okay, Jammu and Kashmir become a princely state under the British government after math of the Treaty of Amritsar, 1846, between Maharaja of Gulab Singh of Jammu. Okay, and the British Governor General, you already know Lord Harding, right? Or you can call East India Company. Okay. so the thing is that uh, treaty of lahore was signed on 9th of march okay and treaty of amritsar was ma- uh, signed on 16 march what is the difference seven day this kind of the conceptual question can be asked in the upsc right that next week and this all adding a statement right so after that you already know it become the princely state so what happened during uh, there are lot of rebellion in india okay and even in the world war in the world world war 1 and world war 2 jammu kashmir a state force right participated in world war 1 and not as well as the indian rebellion got it they fought along with british navy gilgit escort okay because of what happened in 1947 uh, those that people after the fight in the world war 2 and these all uh, returned to jammu and kashmir okay and there was some uh, problem created because of that because you know there was food shortage in jammu and kashmir that time 
okay you already know british uh, never try to improve the uh, this kind of economic problem okay uh, they are just taking their own benefit yes they proved administrative just to rule okay there are food shortages there are a lot of things okay the uh, the soldier who fought for jammu and kashmir are state forces for the british government in the world war world war 2 they returned backing okay because of that many soldier went and there are 1.1 million kashmiri origin people in united kingdom why because many did not return back world war 2 world war 1 world war 2 they remained there okay and those who return back they faced very a uh, crisis like the uh, food shortages okay economic problem there because that should be hilly areas right so you all in this video you learned how the a uh, princely state of jammu kashmir formed right take care guys bye bye if you have any doubt you can just watch me okay take care bye bye